Our top story this Saturday morning, a Pasco County neighborhood waking up this morning in shock, and this is why. Take a look there. This happening less than 24 hours after that sinkhole swallowed up two houses, a boat, and parts of a road. Jenna Jones, live from Ocean Pines Drive in Pasco County this morning. And Jenna, a lot of work to be done, but the big question I think right now a lot of people want to know is, uh, is that sinkhole still on the move? Well, good morning to you, Paul. On last check, the sinkhole has stopped just a few moments ago. I spoke with someone from the county. He told me that there has not been any movement within 14 hours, but they are still taking this very seriously. There is a lot of crews out here keeping a close eye on this, and let's go ahead and get you over there to give you a live look. You can see just how devastating some of this damage is here. This sinkhole is 225 feet in diameter and 50 feet deep, and when you see it like this, it really paints a picture. The scary call came in yesterday morning just before 730. A neighbor called 911 and told the operator there was a sinkhole that was eating the house next door completely. A Pasco County deputy had to run inside the second home to rescue an elderly woman and two younger women. Pasco County fire rescue crews were able to save two dogs. Deputy Jason Murphy told us he could not act fast enough. And then as the rest of the house started crumbling, large chunks, 10 15 feet across would hit the water within seconds just gone. Obviously these two homes here were evacuated and nine other homes also evacuated. We're told one person is coming back from vacation later today and they may also have to be evacuated and leave the area. We are told that the Red Cross is helping all of those people but as for now the sheriff is urging you to not come out here. Just take a look at our video. You can see and get a taste of all you need to see out here. Sheriff again says please do not come out here. A lot of deputies are here overnight. At least 18 were here. We're told they're going to be here around the clock, just keeping a very close eye on things and giving these neighbors here a little peace of mind just in case they do have to move more people out and evacuate more people. And of course, we will be on top of this and we'll bring you any new updates as soon as we get them. Paul? And you know, one official telling me there on the scene yesterday, Jenna, if it had only been an hour before, just think of what could have happened. All right, Jenna Jones, live in Lakeland. I should tell you, Linda Lakes for us this morning. Thank you so much.